In this devlog, I'm going to be turning blocks into swords for my indie game. And I'm doing this because basic swords suck and block swords are cool. Will I be able to turn blocks into all the essential weapons? Watch the end of the video to find out. And without further ado, let's just get right into it. So obviously, if you're going to make a sword out of blocks, you need blocks, right? So I went into Blender and I decided to model the baby toy blocks. Why? Because these baby toy blocks are about ready to turn into something a whole lot cool. Now in my game, my plan is simple. Different players will find blocks across the map and will assemble them into their own weapons to fight off against one another. These blocks can be used for building, or they can be used for armor and health. And if you eliminate another player using your own weapons, you get their blocks, all their weapons, and they will drop blocks when they die, so you can heal yourself, build armor, and become the greatest player in the game. And if you want pre-built weapons, you will have to find supply drops that are looted across the map. Now, me being myself, I decided I was going to take these blocks and put them to good use by building nothing better than a sword. With a triple block and double block hilt and a green and pink finish, I think it looks amazing. Proof of concept, if you will. To explain this concept, I will use a sword. A longer blade on a sword, aka more blocks, means that it will be slower but do much more damage when you hit an enemy. Whereas a small sword with a blade that is tiny, it will be much quicker to hit enemies with, but it won't do as much damage. You have to decide what you're better with, and what would work better in what scenario. And trust me, there isn't a sword without a long ranged weapon. I'm going to make a block bow, and this block bow will have long range damage and you will use blocks as arrows. You'll have to build out each arrow, although I might change it whereas the blocks in your inventory will be used as arrows. I'm not sure yet, but as I know, the bow came out quite well, and you can use it to hit enemies from a long range in-game. Also, I'm going to be using the blocks to make a pepperoni pizza slice. Yes, you heard me right, pepperoni pizza. I decided that if I'm going to have any health item, it should be based off of regular foods, and because I have more of a pyramid shape going on, I am definitely going to make good use of it. And what better than making pizza inside my game? Block pizza is absolutely wonderful, and I'm thinking it will heal about half of your health when compared to an actual med kit. The map will be taken care of in the next devlog, but for now, I am planning on it being a child's bedroom with a toy chest spilled. As for the actual characters themselves, I'm not quite sure. I want to make them blockier as they go with the blocks that they drop when they die, but I feel like it's going to be way too square. For the hitboxes, that is. But also, if I make something too detailed, it's not going to really fit in with the weapons themselves. I'm still deciding on it, but if you have any suggestions, please leave them in the comments down below. And that about does it for this devlog. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed my content, please like and subscribe. But it's all optional, you don't have to. And if you have any other feedback, just leave it in the comments down below. I hope you enjoyed this video, and don't forget that you are amazing. Peace.